Today, I would like to ask you a couple of questions about the Netherlands. I am talking today with Jordi Delove, who just came back to the Netherlands from South Africa and who will share some secrets of how to adapt to a new culture, language, job and people. Let's start with introduction. Hi, hi I'm uh, Jordi Delove. Um, I um, am an uh, entrepreneur. I'm developing companies and I'm taking interest in other companies and um, helping uh, companies grow. We build them and find finance. Um, I do that in companies in South Africa, in Africa, in Europe. Um, uh, myself, I'm um, two years ago, I arrived back in the Netherlands. Uh, I lived for 15 years, more than 15 years in Cape Town in South Africa and traveled uh, about 20 countries. Um, yeah, and that's me. Here are some questions about uh, learning a new language because uh, uh, firstly, you need to learn Dutch if you come to the Netherlands. Um, the most of the Dutch speak English, but uh, uh, you feel closer to them if you can speak uh, Dutch language. And uh, because as I already said, that language is a mirror of uh, the human mind and society and of culture. So can you give some advice to the listener why it is so important to learn a new language quickly? Yeah, I think it's important uh, to have the language, uh, uh, have a have, if you have the basic skills of the Dutch uh, language, talking uh, in, indeed what you say in understanding, I think you can learn it quite quick in the sense of um, the common general topic and 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 or you, what's about your interest you can yeah I, I would, would always advise to to grasp that uh crit critical uh to survive here in the netherlands hmm. and what is uh, what is the most important thing uh to you in learning a new language maybe you learned in other languages so yeah i think the cultural aspect environment you live in, in the environment you live. So understanding, for example, in my village or my peer group or my family to understand more the, the does and the don'ts. I think then you learn a lot from, from the rest of the Netherlands as well. And uh, did, you, did you learn some new language in South Africa or not? Yeah. Um, How did it go? Bad. Bad? Why? <laughs> No, I want to know. But I did. I, I learned a lot of the cultural aspect. Mm -hmm. I went very deep in that. Like in South Africa and in Africa, you have Kosa, Zulu, Malawi, different languages, mm -hmm. Kenya, different Tanzania, different languages, Swahili as common in, in Eastern Africa, but also with the different cultural aspects. So there's a lot of overlap. Um, so I, I choose to learn more on the cultural side, which means I could anticipate quicker on details which are very important mm -hmm. uh, 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 things about respect to all the elders and how to handle that with respect and how to mm. yeah that's what you don't learn in the netherlands at all so um it was for me quite interesting so i i focused and learned a lot on that so i instead of learning all those languages it's impossible so in south africa i learned i learned my english my second language was always german and, uh, what is the biggest challenge for you when it comes to learning a new language? Yeah, it's 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 really um, uh, remembering words uh, like the grammar. The, the just rem grammar. remembering, just you need some technique uh, how you can remember things better. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Because I I, I also I, I spoke uh, on my school. I had Span Spanish mm -hmm. for oh. three years or something, but I forget everything. You know, it's uh, but also the learning. It takes a lot of energy just to the techniques to learn how to learn how to remember um, a chapter <clears throat> on a certain topic and then learn it like physically. That's my challenge, my biggest challenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So see, did you know that actually you need to repeat the same word seven times, and only when you will, re will remember it? Like a muscle memory, or yeah, like uh, seven times in context, not just repeat uh, the same word but uh, seven times in different sentences. 
So that's why they say if you learn something uh, today, tomorrow in the morning, you need to repeat it again. Because if you don't do it, you will uh, you will lose 50% of what you learn. And if you will not repeat it in two days, you will lose 70% of what you learn. Yeah. So you need to, to know uh, the technique, how, how to learn and uh, how long you need to learn. For example, uh, you can only be concentrated uh, 20 minutes or 15 minutes, really, for the language. So it's better to learn every day 15 minutes than in one time, two hours. Hi, sorry. Hi, where were you? Um, my laptop cut off. Uh, I, I, I was talking and I thought, oh, he's listening so good. He doesn't <laughs> interrupt me. And you were just freezing on the note like, oh, you know, like, <laughs> the face was very uh, interested. So, um, and um, uh, how do you feel actually about learning a new language online like we are doing now? on Zoom or Skype or in Teams? Yeah, I don't, I don't think it would be an issue at all. I think it would be effective in uh, uh, 100%. Okay, so it's okay. And uh, if, you, if you want to study a new language, how would you search for a course? I would go uh, <laughs> Google online. I actually did uh, a course a while ago uh, by the nuns. How do you call it? In Fürth? Oh, yeah, I know, really. So, and how did it go? Yeah, it was for a week. Uh, it was very focused. Um, I did it for English and I did it for German mm -hmm. to learn my grammar. And my, um, I skipped school for a long time and I need to hook up. So then I choose to do that in a week. Did it go well? Uh, actually, it did. Yeah, I did. For, for what I needed that time. It's, uh, it's a good uh, method to learn in one week. <laughs> no, it was more for me. It was uh, English was for uh, a general uh, business topics and I needed to present uh -huh. myself, understand. So that was really good. I mean, I, I learned everything there. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I did it for uh, my uh, German. I did it for my grammar and, and all that stuff to uh, just improving because uh, you already were, were speaking uh, German yeah, and English. Never followed, yeah, and I never did follow my school um, uh, on the university. I never showed up. Oh, really? So you uh, you didn't want to go to the language classes? Yeah, I thought I can do it, but then it, you know you can't because you miss a lot of details. Yeah. So uh, if you come to me to learn the language, I close the door and I do not let you out for one week. And after one week, you can speak a language. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, it's, it's really important also to find a good teacher and the course method there that uh, suits you for the following reason. There are people who are visual or audiovisual and each type requires a different course. So there are video courses with a teacher, live courses in a classroom or video courses without a teacher. And uh, there are thousands of providers on internet and both free of charge and for a great deal of money. So that's why it's not that easy to find one course, which course yeah. is right for you. Yeah, so, I can imagine. And um, uh, my extra value is that I give lessons in your native language just Russian, Spanish, English, or Italian, and uh, that will make it easier for you and will deliver quick results because mm. time is the most precious asset. So, and I can help uh, people to use it wisely. What, what would be your key message to newcomers? Yeah, um, adapt, adapt to the local environment you are in uh, mm -hmm. and involve be more assertive, be more assertive in approaching um, so, the social cohesion, what's happened in your village or local or in your area, in your street where you live. Um, so then you adapt very quick, be assertive, be, approach people, because even in the Netherlands, they will open you as well. But it's scared, you know, for, for a Dutch person here just to, for example, now, uh, next to my uh, four new neighbors, um, 
in South Africa, they would come come by and they already welcomed you. You were already in and drinking beer and, and you know what I mean? There's, even if they're older or younger. But here, they're now here for a couple of months, busy. I I I approach them, but it's still a distance. So mm -hmm. I, I, yeah, and I believe actually um, approach them, uh, talk to them, you know, um, mm -hmm. even if they would hesitate in the beginning, because that's what Dutch people do. They cut the cut out the bone, cut the cut out the bone. So I think, um, well, what I did, I joined them then in that Dutch mentality. Yeah. And that I think is stupid. Even what I'm, I should actually go there. Hey, come in, have a drink, have a beer. Mm. You know what I mean? Or, um, yeah. or even it's 10 minutes chat, it's also fine. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I've got still my uh, wine for them, a uh, bottle of wine, you know, to give them because I don't know. You know uh, when they're there, or but I, I don't go there and give my give the bottle of wine. So I'm doing the same. I have the same mentality as a as a general Dutch person. Mm -hmm. So I would advise don't do that. Go go out <laughs> and uh, approach them. So yeah, just uh, be yourself. Also, you you can adjust here, but also stay stay uh, very. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's actually the best. Yeah, that's the best. Yeah. I, 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 uh, I that's why I started the, and when you asked my, me the first question when I came here I needed to adapt yeah. to watch my own family and my friends that's the stupid thing you can do of course so be yourself but yeah if you be too much yourself so I think you have to uh, find a balance mm, yeah. in order to be accepted in the Netherlands yeah. uh, of course it depends on which which um, environment you are what kind of cultural environment aspect your your uh, surrounding has mm -hmm. i think that is an um, but yeah, yeah you're right you're right be yourself yeah you should not forget who you are actually because exactly. you know i will be happy if you will be a different person but of course, you have to. You need to adjust uh, to some cultural aspects, and you need yeah. to know how. Yeah. And uh, that's why I wrote this book, uh, "32 Brilliant Ways to Survive and Thrive in a New Country: A New Language is a New Life." And uh, you can order my book on Amazon or on my website, sarina.info/book. And uh, now uh, we have uh, a small uh, action like uh, for Christmas offer. Uh, if you order this book on my website, you will get a signed coffee, copy with uh, your specified message if desired, and you will temporarily receive uh, free shipping from us. So uh, just, um, I'm, I can say that I'm now for sure an expert in learning a foreign language and uh, in Dutch culture and in being in between two cultures. And in this book, I bring a, a compelling perspective to the subject of studying and personal growth. And my lessons come from the heart and I root it in my uh, interaction with people. Uh, many of uh, their stories uh, I share in uh, this book because uh, I made uh, like interviews like this and I asked people uh, many questions and then I wrote this book. So, and um, uh, what can I say? Thank you for this interview. And uh, if you know somebody is struggling with a language, I will be happy to help. And enjoy your- Thank weekend. you. Yeah, and your journey called life. So go yeah. for it and believe in you. I wish you a lot of success. Yeah, you say the same for you. I, I love that you have this book, uh, written this book and uh, the mindset that you tell this is, I think it's great. Lots of people you can help, 100%. Thank you. Thank you, Jody. So, thank you, too. Uh, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.